Everybody, welcome back. My name is Yumble, and today I would like to address the most asked question on this channel. Easily, by, by a wide margin, the most asked question is, how did you get your roads to be so black? Or something there, you know, something like that. So anyway, I'd like to talk about how I got my roads so black, as well as a couple options that, um, that can help you modify the way that the road looks, including the props that are on the road, things like that. I'd like to go over a few mods that help change the way that your networks look in City Skylines. Let's do it. Whoa, dude, what happened to your interchange? It's like a totally different color, and now it's all like gray looking. You're right. You're exactly right. Good good observation on your part. You did it. So this is um, approximately default, I think, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's definitely what it looks like when I deactivate my road color changer plus plus, road colors changer plus plus. I believe it's called road options in the Steam Workshop. I'll link it down below. But this is the way that I do it, ready? This is the default setting for the menu. What I end up doing is I do use same color for all roads because I want my city to look cohesive. And you can already see that the roads have changed colors. They're back to their lush, dark tone that I usually like them at. Really, I, I like to replicate fresh asphalt and it's not because it's realistic, I just really like the network to be stark against the, um, you know, stark and rich against the, the grassy backdrop. But the way that I achieve that is by checking off use same color for all roads and then global road color. I think by default these are all in the same place, the RGB, the red, green, blue are all the same. And you can see here, hold shift to drag all three sliders. So my, uh, my setting is approximately, let's say it's around 57 for all three of these while using use same color for all roads, right? You can do other stuff with this as well. And it definitely, it opens up a bunch of options if you don't do use same color. You can do it by individual roads, tiny roads, small roads, small heavy roads, medium roads, um, large highways. You can change them all individually. I am... Uh, lazy. I'm really lazy. So we're, we're just going to check off use same color for all roads because... And also it's the result I want. I want them all to be the same. So I think that's pretty cool. So 57 across the board is good for me for the RGB. The other things you can do are, are clean textures. Um, I think that that removes any sort of... Uh, there are textures and decals that the game can apply that make a road look worn or dirty or cracked. I think that you can clean up the roads by turning on clean textures. Removing crosswalks, you could do that. I, I opt not to. Remove markings, that would be like lane arrows, things like that. I don't actually check any of these things. Remove highway markings might be a good move, but I also, I still wanna see the arrows, right? So I still wanna see these things. So I do not affect any of those, personally. Um, Remove lane arrows on all roads, remove random street side props. These are all things you can do. I don't I do not do those changes here, but I'll show you where I do those changes. This is, I use uh, road, road Colors Changer++ plus plus for all of the color modifications, but I use something called Network Skins 2, a different mod, Network Skins 2, uh, to, to change the props on roads. Let me show you what that looks like. Well, would you look at this? This is a single point urban interchange. You might've seen my video about single point urban interchanges and how to build them. That's, isn't that slick? Look at those continuous medians. That's great. There's no turning there, so continuous medians, sweet. Let's zoom in a little closer. Oh, what have we here? Look at that. There's a little, there's a little, um, little clipping going on. We've got our lamp post sticking up from the road here, right? And it's going through the other road. I hate that. So I used a bunch of anarchy to build this thing clearly and there's some clipping going on with the props that are built in. And I'd like to show you how to fix that using Network Skins 2, right? So, so I mentioned it a moment ago, it's, it's a way to modify what props appear on roads or what uh, elements are built into networks. So the way we do this, when you install the mod by subscribing in the Steam Workshop, it appears over on the right here. So you can see this is actually Network Skins 2. Uh, I'm gonna go to this here, this is called Picker by Cuboid, homie of the channel, right? Um, Picker lets you go and just automatically select the road. This is the, the one-way highway with sound barriers. It's a two-lane one-way highway uh, from Mass Transit DLC. It just happens to be, this will work on any road as far as I know, but you can, you can click on that. 
And this will open up a lot of potential within the road. You can affect things like the surface, the color. We already did the color for the for everything. Like I said, I use a different mod to affect the color, so I never use it there. Um, road decorations, lights, that's gonna be important. We're gonna do that in a second. The type of pillar that appears under the, uh, under the road, you know, the pillar for elevated roads. Uh, this is reset all settings on the network, uh, settings for network skins, and the, here we go, click on a segment to copy skin and select the network uh, pipette. So kind of the same as picker, but just within network extension, or network skins. So what we wanna do, the goal here, there's all kinds of things we can do, but I'd, I'd really like to focus on the lights right now, right? So I'm gonna get away from the road for a second. There's a default new street light highway. That's fine. That's that's cool for 99% of the road. But on that one section, I'd like to remove those lights entirely. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm just going to scroll all the way up. I take it back. And I'm going to select none. And that doesn't automatically change the entire network. Because could you imagine? That would just... That would just... Um, <laughs> That you might mess up really quickly if you if you do that. What you actually have to do is select the setting that you want. So make all the modifications necessary in network skins. Go to your upgrade road button, the upgrade road tool, and then click on the segment. So you may need anarchy, like I need anarchy right now to do this. So it's going to remove the lights. Observe the light that's sticking through the road. Gone, right? It's happening over here. You can see it there. Gone. Here and here. Everything's symmetrical. All the nodes are in the same place. If I want to re-add lights or change the spacing on lights, I think I could change the distance here. Um, so that would be a good way to keep the lights for the for the underside here. Or you could add lights manually. You could always, in this situation, I could probably like find a way to put lights under the overpass, which is might be a typical scenario. They might not be up on a lamppost. They might be like posted under the highway itself, under the overpass. But that is how you use network skins to to modify things. And that there's a bunch of different settings in there. I'm just this is the tip of the iceberg. I had an application for it and I wanted to share that with you. If there's if if the the lamppost, you know, the light <laughs> I forget what it's called in the US. I'm just gonna keep calling it a lamppost. Um, <laughs> please in the comments put what you call this thing. What do you in your in your country, in your in your uh, <laughs> Everyone might have a different name for it. I'm not sure. I'll go lamppost for now, knowing that that's not right for my G for my region. Um, but yeah, this is you can modify all these settings. Pillars can be useful if you want to keep it so two networks have the same pillars, so they look like they were built at the same time by the same company. You can make it so the so you have a matched pillar on everything. You know, so the pillars match on one type of road versus another type of road. Um, bridge, bridge middle, you know, all kinds of options in here. There's a settings menu, save active selections globally, um, hide black, I'm not sure what hide blacklisted items are, but really I just use this as a way to remove and add things that are built into a network by default. I believe if we, if we were to select, say, a different network, so this one has trees built in, there's a trees button here now, right? That's kind of important. If I wanted to, uh, Let's, without changing my, my build too much, this is the start of a build that I'm gonna be working on. Um, just like an arterial network, arterial and highways really. But this has kind of the, frankly, not very good looking vanilla trees built in. No offense to the vanilla trees, but they're, they're very, very low poly and very weird looking. Same with these. So, sorry, sorry for all the shade. We're gonna take these and we're gonna modify this and we're gonna do, uh, you know, literally anything else but whatever we want maybe we want like a like a bush i bet i have a, a bush somewhere that might make sense it's the same as the lights you know generic tree large this is probably going to be too large but so i've changed the tree i'm going to hit the upgrade button upgrade road tool and look at that the tree is literally replaced with way better looking trees so that's just a really effective way to take even vanilla roads and adjust them so they look a little bit nicer perhaps rather than their default setting. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for listening to me on this one. This is just how to, how to change your networks, how to, how to spruce them up, or really whatever type of tree you'd like, not limited to spruce. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Yumble. Thanks for watching once again. Feel free to check me out on Twitch. I stream about twice, uh, maybe three times a week nowadays. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I uh, hope this answered your questions. Like I said, this was like a 
going over my, my most asked question in the comments to date. How do you get your roads so dark? Or some analog of that. I hope I answered that well enough. But I really appreciate you being here. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to watch some other videos. i got a bunch of tutorials and how to build interchanges just like this one. This is a partial cloverleaf. Um, but yeah, really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.